Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. I thought this video would be a little different for the channel and a sort of call to arm, so to speak, because I love this app so much and I don't have the skills necessary. I have these kinds of skills, you know, making videos, editing videos, putting them up on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I don't have all of the skills that I want. And yes, I could do those things and, and, and grow and grow them, uh, but I don't have the time unfortunately, to do some of these things. So this is a sort of call to arms. The devs at Jamovi don't know that I'm doing this, but maybe they'll catch this and um, uh, share it on, on, their, on their sites and stuff. But this is a video about the, the dev space for Jamovi. It's an open source, uh, free program, and they do love collaborating. Uh, if you look at everything that they do in all of the space that they have online, uh, my videos, uh, learning stuff on their main website, Twitter, their forum, everything, um, they are very collaborative and it really is uh, uh, fun to be a part of, even if just looking on the outside and then occasionally looking at, you know, what people are saying. So I wanted to give a shout out to the devs and I also wanted to put out, um, and just in case you're watching this video and you don't know, you can jump in and help. I don't have the skills for this, but I wanted to make a video to showcase it because you might not know it exists. And if you were typing dev uh, develop modules for Jamovi, maybe this video will pop up. Maybe you're looking for how to get started. I uh, can't really do tutorials on that, but I can just show you. So first and foremost, this is the page for the main development for Jamovi. OK, so if you are familiar with writing code and specifically R code uh, R the programming language for the uh, statistical uh, analysis software and many, 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 many more things, then you will love this website. So they've, this is their homepage and you can see that it's uh, very, very simple dev.jamovi.org. Okay. And so they have some news, but I mean, most of it is old, right? The newest one is from the end of February, 2020. So we're coming up, uh, this is uh, obviously more than three, but they have uh, a tutorial for how to do this. So getting started, creating a module, creating analysis all the way through how to make, um, so this is just, this is all of the basic stuff. Do you want to make a module? What can you add to Jamovi? That kind of thing. Do you want to get it going? And then if you've got any intermediate or UI uh, background, you can then go into the uh, dynamic tables, how to handle data, and then how to construct what the UI looks like for this. But of course, this is how you get started. So if you want to code a, a, a new analysis for Jamovi to add to there, if let me pull up Jamovi here, to add to this module list here. So if we go up to Jamovi library, how do, do we want to add to this list, right? This is the place to do it. So they've got the tutorial. Then you've got the API, which you need to run, right? So you've got the uh, YAML, YAML is what I call it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It's just what I've come across. So you've got all of the definitions that you need to be able to run these tutorials and your code, and as well as how to set up with the R code in the uh, in the end, it's essentially the the end, what the end user is going to see that R code, right? The results elements, what are you pulling out from the analysis and then set up the table for that. And then they've got um, the project structure, which is um, where you uh, put everything together, right? So electron server engine client examples uh, and examples is where the data sets come from for tutorials for whatever, right? So this is how you would use that. This is how the um, these are what the structures are. And then this is what it looks like. And then you've got the bin. Again, I, this, I'm out of my element here, but we've got the the client resources and the server and then where examples go. So it's I think it's a pretty strong set of tutorials, right? So if it wasn't, then we wouldn't have all of these all of these things, right? And these are all essentially, I've got to update a few of them, but uh, these are essentially, many of them are developed by other people. Some of them are developed by the devs in Jamovi, but some of them are developed by others. So you can make your own if that's what you want to do. And this is where you get started at the dev. Now they say that you can talk with others about what they're looking for, right? So there are, there's the forum.jamovi.com and this is what it looks like. I, I don't know if I've shown this in a video before, but you can start talking about this and this is where module and um, Jamovi development go. And Jonathan Love is the um, one of the main developers for Jamovi. He's the top dog and um, he is always on this site helping people out. Um, you can see that module development has 183 topics with over 1100 posts. So, I mean, it's a pretty strong community if that's what you're looking for. And I got to say, I really want to see more modules. I want to see more modules. Now, there are a ton of modules that I have no idea how to use. No idea how to use because I didn't get that specific training in Jamo or in graduate school or whatever. I'm sure I could teach myself some of these things, but be that as it may, I would love to see more modules. I would love to see more interactive modules. The Z-Test Viz one is fantastic. It could use a little bit of work, but it's still great. And just adding more stuff to Jamovi is um, how it makes this project, this program, this app, uh, a longer serving project, right? It, it, it gives it longevity, right? It, it allows it to compete on the same stage as the proprietary programs like SPSS, uh, like Stata, uh, Minitab, all of these things. 
make Jamovi stronger. Stats open now. Let's do it. So dev dot jamovi dot org. I wanted to highlight that. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave those down below. Thank you for watching this quick video on dev.jamovi.org, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.